Hello, hello, and welcome back to Minecraft with yours truly as a morph. No surprises there, really, let's be honest. As you can see behind me, we're still standing in front of this notice board that we... Well, map board, in fact, let's be honest. Um, been standing here for weeks and weeks since I made episode 8. Yes, anyhow, what we're going to do today is we're actually going to head off down to where I've removed the maps, which are just behind my head. Let me get around to this position. So we're, I've got those maps in my storage. And what we've also got, as you can see, is that I have done the acacia wood. As I said, I would get the acacia wood. I've also got some oak wood for making fences and such like, because we don't need to use the acacia for that. Uh, grab some earth, just because I've got some. Um, some sugar canes, because we're going to see, because once we've got the place secure, I'm expecting that we might be able to get some trading. Um, has it gone dark outside? It's gone dark outside. So we've got some baddies. Um, we've got the sugar canes for making into paper to hopefully trade if we've got that. And I've also grabbed all the rotten flesh. So that's all good. But we're not going to go outside right now. What I thought we'd do is see about updating the map. So if I grab that one, and it flies somewhere. Where's it gone? Eh, uh, map, here, map. Now that one. Do you know what? I've lost it now. Come on. Where's it gone? Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Where did that go? Anybody? 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 Do you know it might have gone outside? So let's go outside. Hello, speeder. Because it is just a wall. So has it come out the other side? Hello, speeder too. I'm looking for a map. Anybody see the map? Bizarre. I did that in episode eight, didn't I? Do do do. You've entered the twilight zone. Now I'll go back in and probably sit in there. Clear as day. Hello, Skelly. Goodbye, Skelly. Let's go back up here. It's probably lying somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's one to watch out for, isn't it? Hmm. Uh. Ah, did you hear that? Aim for Hey! <laughs> I knocked a map down and I get an item through. Stranger style. Strange. And I got a clay block. Ah! I now know what I've done. <laughs> Smart me. Yeah, I've put the, um, <clears throat> not the stuff off the things yet. So that was clay block. I'm doing well here, haven't I? And that's that one. And that's because I put the earth there. That's what it was. Okay, good, good, good. We're, we're doing well. We're doing well. Where did that mark go? I might have to make another one of them. Huh. How strange. Didn't fly over here, no. Hasn't flown over here. Sometimes they get themselves into some really strange positions. Like, really strange. That's not... That one came down that way. That one came down that way. I'm losing maps. Either that or losing my mind. One of the other. That went towards the chest. I'm sure that went towards the chest. Right, I'm going to find out what's going on here from the top ones. And I'll, um, yeah, I guess I'll be right back. Hmm. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Oh, well, yeah, I keep forgetting sometimes that um, Minecraft does some weird things. Uh, I came up here and look what I have found. I found one of the missing maps. That's 11... And is there any others around here? Oh, there's another one. What was that one? So that's 11 there, and that's 5 there. So let's just see which ones we've got here. Um, yep, that's the one we did in the end of last episode. And that's the one in between. So all we need to do is find the original one that went walkies. Um, but yeah, I've come all the way up here, which is really good, isn't it? Um, I'll keep looking. Oh, come on. Where could they have gone? So, yeah, they've travelled up through the earth. Um, there is a mechanic you can use there for moving materials around. Yeah, show that at some point. But it does look like the initial one's probably gone. Now, that could be that we've got an opening just at that location above. Like a missing stone or something that's sitting underneath all this. Um, or, basically, it's just... Vanished, never to be seen again, but it looks it. So what I'll do is I'll make another one. 
and I'll catch you over. Hmm. Yes, we'll head back over to the tree farm and I'll catch you back over there because it looks like that other map has gone into space similar to that, I would think. Um, which is a bit of an unfortunate. Let's see, did we come through here? Uh, no, not. And if I've missed it, it's going to be gone. It's going to be gone. Oh, skill I must have died here. Let's have a quick look up here. No, nothing any. Anyway. Right, I'll, I'll put these back up and I'll catch you back over at the tree farm. As you can see, we're back up the tree farm, because the white dot on the map shows us me being here. And hey Bristol, I've built the trees. Um, what a, what a, what, what a do oh, I can't be bothered jogging and jumping. Um, what I did do is I haven't actually forced it straight across, because it's a 5x5 five five grid. Um, and as you can see, I kind of just left this in. But it made it a bit more interesting for the moment. I'll probably straighten it off at some point, but at the moment, I thought that'll be interesting to leave that as is. Okay, so um, it's getting on to night time, I think. And uh, also the setting. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to head back to the house, get this map up on the wall, and have a sleep through the night, and uh, we'll get cracking. So I'll catch you back at the house. Okay, map has now been resecured. I've taken the precautionary measure of taking those blocks out there. But I've also taken these blocks out here because if I'm going to put them up close, then I don't want to be flying through the uh, sky again. So, yeah, so we're now back up, map all good. So now we're going to head off down here and, because I've slept through the night, so we'll head to that point there, head across, etc. So actually I'm going to grab that map and we'll get going. Da -da -da -dee. Let's see if there's any nasties that haven't despawned. Oh, no, we've got tradable materials though. So we'll have that. Um... I'm thinking here, oh, painful though it may be, we'll go up the ladder and back up this way, because it will head us towards the right direction of the village. Um, yep, very early hours, good, good, good. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, past the non-used construction site. Um, all right, all right, all right. Let's see if we can give you the map. Um, They're there on the map, so we're actually fast approaching the part of the map that we need to be on, I think. Is that right? Or are you not telling me anything at all now? Um, no, no, there's movement. There's movement. Oh, ow. Hey, let's just throw ourselves off the edge of the cliff. Now, I was thinking that was... You see, that white dot normally moves, but for some reason it's not wanting to, so... There we go. There we go. Good old... Stuff happening once. Let's go down here. There's a cave over here. There's a cave down there. There's a cave down there. Hello. Hello. No. We're not caving. We're not caving. We're going to a village. Must focus. Focus on the journey ahead. Is that? Oh, that's not a cave. Good, good. We're into the desert now, aren't we? So I reckon that we are actually where the other white dot you can just see in the bottom of the map, just above my. Um, uh, meat popsicles, there's another dot. So I think we're about there. Which could be interesting. I don't want to make a new map too soon. In case we lose it. But we've got to be... If there's a grey... That could well be part of what we're looking at. Um, this looks like the outcrop. So we're probably getting close to where we need to be. That's another outcrop. Is there stones or anything around here? No, but there's the village. Um, and we're supposedly off the edge of the map now, so it was about here, is the other map. So we're going to head towards the village. Hmm. Yeah, we've kind of, because if I'm right, and I'm not always right, yeah, we've kind of come off, so this would be the other map here. So we're actually in the territory for one of the maps now. So we'll get around it, we'll go around here before we go to the village. Oh, there's still a villager. Good, good, we haven't left it. We haven't affected the village in any way so far, which is good. So let's stop. I'm going to have the last of my baked potato and get my heart through Jenny whilst we do this. Um, let's take one of those. And I think about here, go boom. And yes, we have the sand. And if I look over that direction, we'll fill them up in fully. So that top corner was uncluttered. Right, good. I'm hearing zombies though. This is um, not good in the sense that we don't want to. Come across zombies, but uh, 
Let's carry on. And you can see now the white dot is moving. Oh, yes, it is. But you love it when these things work as they're supposed to. <coughs> so we'll put that map back up there. We'll split that one off. And we're getting, I think we're into other map territory. There we go. And there's the village. Yay! And seeing the priority is the village. Hello, Mr. Villager. Just don't mind me. I'm just doing a bit of cartography. There we are. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's fine. And then the next one would be over there. Fine. Well, I'm not going to go into a boat yet. I want to kind of um, take that one, put that one there, put that one off, and put that one there. Right, so we're now here. Yay! We're at the village. We've got plenty of villagers. That looks like a blacksmith. We've got a librarian. Oh, there we go. Paper for emeralds. Looting three. Fifteen. Oh my giddy aunt, you are you are now my number one star. Yes you are. Wow. You want a bit of that. And there's emeralds for for forty of these, that's good. There's another one kicking about as well. Right, so this is where we want to be and this is what we want to protect. So what I'm going to do with yourselves is set up a little oh, no. I have a slightly faulty mouse at the moment. It's going to get replaced very shortly, I tell you. We're going to set ourselves up here. This is the road, I believe. Uh, differential and heights there, but we can do some, um, Yeah, this is a bit high. Anyway, I'm not doing that part. So now let's get all this thrown in there. Now, if I'm right, and I'm not often right, but if I'm right, I'm going to put the maps in here as well. A bit of paper, all the stuff I want to trade with. Get rid of all this junk. Um, if I'm right, um, if we've got a librarian, have we walked past it? Yep, we've got a house here. There is a crafting table. In this corner, so let's use that. No hole down there. It's actually not. Do you know I was looking for a button there, believe it or not? Um, let's put that in there. Good. And we'll do that. And we'll do another one of those, I think. Alright. There we go. And actually, I've only brought one stack of these, so we'll just do that and that. And that'll get us a good start. And I've made the wrong fences. Great. Do well. Do well. I'm still getting used to these fences. So I made 64 gates, which is just no use to nobody. Man nor beast. So at least we made that mistake there. Let's go back. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's go back into here. Yeah, I'll be remembering that for a while. Remember that day when Asimov went to make some gates and he was stupid? Yep, there we go. Boom. Right, so we've got a stack and a half of those. Good, good, good. Probably not have enough food here, but we'll give it a go. If not, I'm just going to have to defend the village. Yes, we are. We're just going to have to defend the village. Now, what I'm going to do is grab uh, these, and then we can start marking out the defensive. Now, it's a bit of a strange one. One, two, three, boom. That's how I normally mark out where I want to put my walls. Not there. It's the axe. Dum -dum. And it's just the same as what I've done at the tree farm. But I'm going to make it one colour for the moment, because that's all I want to do, really. Um, the normal thing I do is I find the most outward part of the property and place of the village, and then place things down, and then I'll fine-tune it as we go. But um, for the moment, um, we seem to have quite a good village. This, around the farm will need some work, I think. And seeing I'm hearing those zombies around here, I think this is where I'm going to do the most work. But, um, yeah, and I think I'm going to grab some of this to use. Don't mind me. There we go. And let's grab that sand as well, because I can sense we're going to have a bit of fun in a minute on the basis of one, two, three, boom. So I'm actually going to just make this a square one because it's not a massive village. It's not one of the biggest ones I've ever come across under the Village Protection League, you know. Um, let's do that. There we go, got a bit of double height here. The good thing here is that sometimes I'll put water around it. And what I have found in the past is by putting water around, the zombies can actually stay in the water. So something there I'm going to have to think about. So there you go, we've got that. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. Come back up here. And do that. So you get the idea of what I'm going to do, yeah? Well, hopefully we'll get this done in plenty of time. Now, this 
is higher than what I want it to be, so we'll take it back three back, that'll do. Now all this sand, is, I've got another agenda as well, so all this sand I will use for glass and other things like that. Um, I'm also going to use it for the wall, so it will all come in useful. Um, we've got a bit too far there. In fact, they're at different heights. <gasps> Shocker. So let's just take this all out here. Oh yes, bit of a shake of the old head there. Yeah, it's a different height. Hmm, that actually could be fortuitous, believe it or not. Yes, it could. My, my word for today, fortuitous. So we know what we're going to do there. That's fine. Let's just plonk these wood down. So it's down. There we go. Yes, it's a wall. Aren't you guys excited about a wall? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away this upper it's long, so it's tiered. It does mean that Skelly can shoot at you. But I um, always do a little bit of a three out. He's really liking that wall, isn't he? Yeah. Ah, we've got sunset, so the heat is on now. Because whilst I'm here, this village is prone to attack. So, right, let's get things going. So, obviously, kicking myself a little bit for that loss of material. Um, but let's. Uh, if we, can, we don't need the, the upper tier on this wall yet. No, no, we don't need it up yet because um, what are these? Yeah, we do. Good, the villagers are running in. Um, because the spiders won't attack the villagers. This is purely for zombies. Nothing else. So we'll stick that there. We're gonna run back around here. Now, I haven't paid any touch. Look at him. I haven't put any torches in place yet. I'm going to do this. That's why I grabbed the sand. Oh, throw the sand away a bit. And where do we want the glitter to here? Actually, this will just be a sand wall for the moment. Right? It's the little zombies you've got to watch out for as well now. That's the biggest and most dangerous change. But obviously if we had a door getting banged, then I know that, um, I know we've got it. Oh, got a creeper party. Now I'm using sand at the moment. I might well come back and turn that either into sandstone or use stone bricks for that obvious change. There we go. We're under attack already. So, oh, yo, yo. One's gone into the river. Into the river? What are you doing? Hello. Thank you. But now, I feel a little bit more that this is the only point that they're going to come through. Are you sitting in the water? Get in there. Uh, Is that a villager? No. And up! There we go. Goodbye. Um, and we're going to get more of these coming in now. So we're going to be a bit busy. A bit busy. Yep, here comes the others. Here comes these buddies to go. Oh, you killed my friend. Um, let's get this wall up because I'll be able to jump over that. There we go. Oh, come on then. Uh, We're at war, I tell you. Now, this is going to be a little bit more tricky because if I take it three forward, we're actually going to be off to sea, as it were. So, um, I know what I want to do here. Um, but I'm not going to be able to do it straight away, so let's do a bit of that. There we go. And we'll take it down here. And then that's what one, two, three. Yeah, we'll do it there. I think that's all. I'm just getting this defense up now. There we go. And then I can put. There, there's that. Now, have you had anyone banging on doors or anything? Are these villagers all safe? I think so. So what we're going to do is make it a little bit lighter around here. So that you can see what we're doing. There you go. Hello, don't mind me. Just coming in to do a bit of, uh, mm -hmm. a bit of uh, make good compared to what I did earlier. And that one there. There you go. More of those. Okay, I made the right ones this time. Oh, hey. uh, 
up here. And carry on. So I'm hoping that we manage to get in here on time. Oh, let's get looking. Gonna be knocked off there. Oh, what happened there? Oh, met the other one. Good. So it's not going to be A1 fantastic, but we are there or thereabouts, so that's good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little bit of time here. Once uh, I know it's all secure and safe for these guys, and we'll start to plan out how this is going to look. I think this corner needs to go out to the sea, out to the sea, out to that river, just because. Right, good. No. Then you had the doors banging, did you? No, where did they get in? Did they come round the corner? Or are they spawning in here? That's what we need to check up first and foremost, to make sure they're not spawning in here. Hence the torching. Always put torches on the edge of the buildings just to kind of give me a little bit more. Like you're not supposed to want villagers. Okay, bye. Thank you very much for coming. See you again. And listen, this is purely because I know that we're going to be building up near here. So don't, I'm protecting these villagers before we extend the, um, Extend the environment. Well, that's actually high up, you know, because we're actually standing higher than we want to be. All this needs to come down a little bit more, too. Uh, one there and one there. And that's a good measure. It's a bit of an overkill on the old torches, but more the merrier, really, as far as I'm concerned. We've got the lava in here, so. Um, oh, no, oh, still too high. One there. Now, I did notice that this chap's place was a little bit dark. This is where we've got diamonds. Yep, that's right. Emptied that one out already. Um, so one there, and we'll put one there, and we'll put one there. That's slightly up the blacksmiths. Somewhat. Good. Um, right, we haven't got anything here, so let's do that. And that. You do burn through quite a lot of torches in this, I've got to be said. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, I feel a bit happier about this now. Torched to mm -hmm, and back. Okay. And have we got anything, any light in here, gentlemen? No, no, the gentleman ladies. There we go, and I'll put one there. I think that will light that up nicely. Um, I'm also prone to lighting up these. Um, less, in, but again, I was going to say less important, but it's not really. Um, cause you're basically trying to make sure that within the area you've not got any um, spots that the zombies can go. Hello, I'm a zombie. I've got to pay a visit. See, in here, dark. So we'll put one there. We'll put one there. And then up here will be dark as well, I would expect. Yep, it is. So we'll put one there. Put one there. And then we can get to see. You see, and now that is quite common as well. Because it's a flat roof, it'll get on there, no problem. Now, I don't know if that's up. And because each it's dark, they're getting to spawn in here as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to light up this fence. You just pack it in. Where'd that come from? Go there. Just when you think it's safe. So now we're going to put a torch there, torch there, torch there, just for now, just to keep it all lit up, keep them out. Little baby zombie, little baby zombie villager. Um, and I'll be able to spawn here because it's dark, and here because it's dark. And I've only run through 64 torches here. It just shows that. And I'll put those there. No one there. Now, obviously, they're up here, so I've got to go up there and deal with them. So, no one. Goodbye. Normally I would put one in each corner, but I have literally just run out. <laughs> and there, the fence is working. Won't be working for the spiders, but I'm less worried about the spiders at this time. Um, oh, a nice little zombie valley. They're all zombie villagers. You see that? Look, look. Village. That might be daddy, that might be only, that might be little baby. Oh, isn't that cute? Unfortunately, I haven't brought spot. I haven't, we haven't been to the nether yet, so that's going to be in the next episode. Um, uh, so I can't do anything about that. 
Yeah, I mean, it's a case of one colour for everything's a little bit... Mm. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix that up as well. But what I'm quite glad to say is that we have now secured the village from attack. Um, and now it's purely tidying it up, making it look nice, making it look sharp, as it were. Um, you know, so it's kind of doing this kind of thing of filling in where there's, there's gaps. Making it all look right. So I'll start tidying this up. Finished tidying up, as you can see. We've got nice smooth landscapes. Uh, I've even started to plant some earth on the basis that I'm hoping to get a uh, silk touch something or other at some point. So I can bring some grass over here and plant it. Just so it doesn't look so uh, brown and yellow, as it were. And then, um, yeah, so I think that's us. Done and dusted for the village. I think we'll need to put a few more torches up and around the perimeter, etc. But as you can see, I'm completely out. Uh, oh, and I'm going to have to do something with my armor. And anyway, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to call it an episode of that. Uh, it's been a tidy up and get situated video, which means by doing this village, we can start to work in the hills area that you can just see without fear of losing the villagers. Although I might make a uh, iron golem just to protect it as well but in the next episode it's going to be episode when well, episode 10 we're going to head off to the nether so i think one of the first things i'm going to do between now and the next episode is find a suitable location for the nether portal so until next time boys girls aliens and other life forms stay safe <laughs>